Um, that'll do it. Not quite. Look, I'm trying to get out of here without zombies calling me the N-word. Is that possible? Well, not until we talk about Disco. You're right. <laughs> so, I hope they're far away. I hope they're out of earshot for at least ten more minutes. <laughs> well, there's a couple other words that Disco will call me instead. The okay, so the spoiler cast for Disco Elysium starts in a few seconds. So if you don't want to hear anything spoilery about Disco Elysium, I would highly suggest that you leave in the time or turn this off in the time period that I am saying the sentence. Before you do, if you're listening to this on Monday live, you can go check out Peach Live at 8 o'clock. She's streaming Dark Souls. But regardless of that, spoilers will be happening for Disco Elysium as of right now. So do you like the part of the game with the thing happen? Yeah. Um, I mean, well, okay, first of all, like, the deserter and the fan and his just everything about him and his view of the title screen and his entire character just sitting sitting there and you're like you're going through this fucking like bullshit puppy dog version of communism throughout the game and yeah. this old fuck is the realest deal. <laughs> yeah, he's tired. He has nothing to live for. He's the realest deal. And he, he's been... And, like, the first impression you get is, like, oh, he's that Japanese soldier that didn't know the war ended that kept right. fighting, right? But then it's like, no. He knew because he was following the development of the world and through his scope... He was watching things happen, and he was leaving the island and going around, and he was watching the world change, and he hated it. Yep. And he's taking his little revenge on the world. Yep. You know? Um, and it's like, and it's interesting, because you're seeing this character, and you're like, oh, okay. And, like, immediately, just the energy of people that are like, yo, the deserter did nothing wrong. Always right. Truest right. Oh, come on. And you're like, not, and, like, immediately, he starts being a contradiction. Yeah. And I'm like, oh, that's interesting. He's contradicting himself in the same conversation, you know? What is up with this guy? And, like, you just kind of have, like, a, co a point on the, uh, he's a point on the political compass on the chart that like all the way at the edge shoots so far past the union and Everard and everybody that it like it fucking it restabilizes this entire balance yeah. you know uh the thing my favorite part about the deserter isn't even him i think he's a cool surprise my favorite part of the deserter is what he f he represents in the game's narrative structure which is that you have been following every potential and legitimate lead possible until you hit what I thought was going to be the end of the game only to deal with a scenario in which we have fucking no leads at all. We have nothing connecting anything we have done to uh -huh. anything. Well, yeah. let's just go. Let's just go find the shooting points. Oh, it's the guy, and it's a guy who had nothing to do with anything. You couldn't have possibly the whole had game. Yeah, was a a bunch of filler. The who done it could not have been guessed because you literally didn't have the. You never met him. How could you have met him? Yeah, you, you didn't. You know, um, and then, like in the midst of that, you just have what I called a turn for the Wes Anderson, yeah. right? A Wes Anderson moment where you Wes Anderson moment where you're just like, and now nothing, something that has nothing to do with anything, but is the most important thing ever is going to captivate us. And we're going to just completely just drown in this, you know, for a while. Um, the, the, the phasmid is such a fucking cool, thing to do 
Uh, so, of course, I talked about this uh, 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 a little bit more in depth at the time, and you know, I'm not going to harp too long, but it's the nature of the game. It's the nature of of this this life, this streaming thing, yeah. whatever. You got spoiled. I got spoiled, and um, I know that that can happen. So. You know, I'm not even like, you know, I'm not even going to fucking harp on that. But just some people can't keep it in their pants. It is what it is. Um, so I have a quick question about that. Mm -hmm. Because there's two parts to the Phasmid. Mm -hmm. the phasm one is the Phasmid is real. Mm -hmm. Two is you talk to it. Yes. I'm going to assume that second part you were you were not aware of. I was not aware of the second part. Because luckily, thank God, you get to, oh, there it is. And then it yeah. starts to talk to you. Basically, all it was was around the time where the cons where the Phasmid, uh, where we first meet Gary and and um, the traps and, and uh, the cryptozoologist shit starts happening. You meet your lucky racist. You meet your lucky racist. Um, and uh, right around then, it was just... You know, someone making reference to like, oh yeah, sure, like it, it sure isn't real, or or like hope he doesn't miss, pays attention at the end, or hope he doesn't miss yeah, the end, or whatever, with like a dumb kappa face and shit. It's just one of those dumb things where someone thought they were being smug and <sighs> they were like, uh, you know, and you're like, okay, well, cool, thank you know. But at the time, I just I, I protected Reggie from it, you know, so he came in not knowing, and then in the time when he was like, wait, what? And I'm just, and I'm like, yeah, I'm the, I'm the soldier, getting stabbed in the back and shot in the back while you're sleeping on the bed. You know, don't worry yeah. about it. Now, with that all uh, 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 out of the way, it still is fucking incredible. And the, the the timing of when they did it, the the how, you know, like the gravity of it, everything about that, I did not know, and it was it was wonderful. It was it's such a, a cool way. Yeah. It was such a cool way to like take this just train wreck and just put it in. Yeah, I don't. It's just like the whole game is this crazy thing where I we talked about it before, but like you are the fucking belligerent, insane asshole by mm -hmm. any stretch of the imagination in any other story told. But this world, this planet, is so fucked that you're actually right. Yeah. And the things you say and do actually make sense because the world bends to make them make sense after the fact. Mm -hmm. You know, it's it's so fascinating to see that kind of character be self-destructive, but like at every turn, there's a reason behind it. There's a method to all of the madness, you know? Um, I think like that whole ending sequence is like, perfect because you have the explanation of the deserter and it's a, a, a like a fountain of hypocrisy and it's also like like hilariously mundane like there's no big mystery to him mm -hmm, he's mm -hmm. just a bad person from hit side like sandwich right next to like magic like completely absurd mm -hmm. shenanigans mm -hmm. but before that to set it up is you get to finish your personal story with your nap. Um, yes. And you get, you get to talk to Dolores. Uh, uh, so, so just last thing on the, when the deserter there is the, um, like as the things, as it's going and it's like, you know, you're, you're setting up the framing of this character. Who's the contradiction and such. And you're like, you're hearing, hearing him talk about the way things ought to be. And then it's like, Okay, but motherfucker, you're still drilling holes in walls. You know what I mean? Yeah. And you're like still peeping on women's. You know, and then oh, what's up with all that? And then it's like, oh well, it could have been under the influence of the phasmid, maybe. And it's like, maybe. yeah, you could. There's it's enough gray in that area to go like, oh, he's just, you know, behaving in ways that are that are uh, under the influence or whatever the case is. But it doesn't change the fact that it's like, yeah, that that shit. The more you go into it, it sound the more fucked it is. And like the the parts where like. He makes reference to, um, like he 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 makes reference to degeneracy, right? Mm -hmm. And you're like, oh, oh, the the like the the tanky style communist is talking about something that you would expect from the nationalist, yeah, right? Well, what's it's that not like about? He's consistent. 
and then it's, you see these contradictions, you know, and it's like, yeah, well, if you can take something degenerate and call it bourgeois, then that's a reason enough to write it off. Well, he's you know? all he's also like a de facto hypocrite considering he's so hardcore into the violent communism because he's a pussy and he deserted. Hmm. And then he survived. He felt bad about it. But he only survived because of it, right? Yeah. Yeah, yeah. And then, of course, it's just like, and then you were just looking and you're like, yeah, I took the shot, you know, because fuck him. And you know... <sighs> That the guy who was on the receiving end of that fucking deserved it. But, oh, yeah, he's an asshole. You know, and you go down, the, you, yeah, you know, we, we talked about it, loincloths, etc. Um, but, yeah, the dream. Um, what fucking works there super well is because you obviously understand, like, you're not, you're not stupid. You understand within minutes that you have a horrible ex-wife divorce story in your past and it, you don't yeah, want to it's, it's you, defining it's it's you don't know the specifics but it's, yeah. it's, it's horrible so the whole time you're waiting hours to get there you're going through every version of it in your head already you know so uh, my my feeling was that it was basically one of like okay look man i've been wondering about how bad this breakup was for like fucking whatever 40 50 hours whatever it is at this point like, could it possibly, like, build up to or be as, you know, bad and as crazy as I, I uh, have considered it might be? And then you're going through the conversation and you're like, oh, this is all, first of all, you're never going to fully know because Harry refuses to see it from anything except his point of view, which is that of the victim. You have mm -hmm. no idea what he did and how fucking awful he was because you're not a, you're not entitled to see her side of the story on it. And it's it's this weird thing like even when you get there it's it's like people in the chat right now are going off about what she did or what she didn't do and it's like I'm not 100% sure what to believe exactly. in that sequence because parts of it aren't real. But by the point you're on the way out it's like just in case you um, you needed something to push it over the edge here. Here's a little bit of that Godfather 2 for you. You know? Mm -hmm. Here's a little bit of that, like, oh, whatever this was, there is no more. Oh, yeah. It's, it's, it, it, it's you this interesting thing for me because the whole game, I'm like, I want to find out what happened. I'm mm -hmm. desperate to find out what happened, which pushes Harry driving towards like remembering the thing he almost killed himself to forget mm -hmm. and then i got there and i'm like i should have left it alone like what? harry's original decision was a correct one hmm. what he is absolutely self-destructive and going to eventually kill himself over this because he can't get over it and there's there's it can't be gotten over whatever whatever it was however it went down um, the point at which she has an abortion and needs to get as far away from you as possible to that degree, it's like, yeah, you. there's nothing else to say. Whatever it was, this, at that point, there's no longer anything else to say. And Yeah, whether or not it's she's just like, I hate being poor, or whether or not Harry was like a terrible We don't know what he did. Or we abuse, don't it know. It doesn't matter. Yeah. All that matters is that she's gone as much as a person can. And did you get the phone call? Uh, I which one? The one you dial random numbers on the phone. Yes, I did. Yeah. So you eventually ended up speaking to her briefly? Yes. So as pathetic as that phone call is, the most important thing is that you have to dial like 80 numbers to get to her get area code, which means <laughs> yeah. she's not just in a different country or a different continent. She's essentially in a different world. She's as far away from where you are as you can possibly get. Calling, 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 still calling. Yeah. Um, like she did not half ass leaving you, man. And I think it's really important to, to state how unreliable Harry is at that point. And at the end, when your Phasmid is talking to you through Inland Empire and Volition backs it up and it says it was mostly her. 
And it's like, okay, uh, we'll just have to take your words for that, right? But we like, don't know the whole story, and you can't. Well, I mean, you're describing the volition uh, backs up, and so does Inland, and it's like, but is it talking to you? <laughs> like, I, no, seri like, seriously. So like, my reason, so the only reason why is because I made a decision, which is I trust volition no matter what, right? I made a decision early on with when I'm after Classia, where I was like, no matter what happens, I will trust volition. It's the only uncompromised stat. Absolutely, and that's fine. But that's like a personal decision. But that's There's a personal decision. Room totally. That the voices in your head are lying to you, and that that fucking right magic beast is not actually talking to you. Totally. I have no idea. Wrong. They, yeah. No. I. I. And trusting volition was the best. I loved it. It was great. I had a fantastic playthrough because I decided to trust uh, Volition on that. Um, the the moment of, of being compromised is like such an incredible one that just you have to stare st sideways at twenty four stats. <laughs> you know, you know. I'm like yeah. Shivers, you're gonna fucking rat me. Shivers is gonna sell me out. You know, it was it was incredible. Um, but but that's what it is. I think like the 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 Phasmid gives you that final little line. And, you know, I, I see some people reading way too hard into that when I'm just like, no, you're not meant to know his side. You're not meant to know the objective mm -hmm. truth here. All you have is his perspective, him being on the receiving end of someone who's walking away from him and he's trying to bury the reasons why, you right. know? Yeah. Um, so, so what? and of course, because things are up to interpretation, you can fight over them forever. So... Um, you know, by all means, take your, your, your interpretations and have your own with it. But, like, based on the way it, it went with, with this playthrough, this is how I'm looking at it. Um, that, uh, yeah. Go ahead. I'm a big fan of, after all of that, they give you, like, games don't do this. God of War did it. I remember being blown away when God of War did it. Games don't have a denouement. Games hit your climax and then, like, three minutes and then credits. In uh, the end of Disco Elysium, actually reminds me a lot of Full, uh, Full Metal Alchemist Brotherhood, where you get an entire story sequence that is like, so all that shit happened, huh? Um, um, the uh, the sacking of the Shire, you know the the <sighs> yeah, I I the God of War one is a really great example because yes, that was a really the 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 denouement on that is fantastic. I it was kind of incredible how petty the conversation with Vilmar feels oh he's such a fucking asshole your final you know like it, it, it's like it's trying to be a final boss but you couldn't give less of a fuck you know like it, it couldn't matter less the entire thing and on top of that at least in my in my playthrough Kim was there had my back at Vikmach excuse me um, and you're like I love you Kim and Kim is just like, yo, at the end of the day, he fucking did everything, man. He did everything. The game happened, and he solved all these problems, and he still got to the bottom of it while being a, a, a fucking superstar cryptozoologist. <laughs> you know? <laughs> yeah. Like, it was, it was, and then you see everyone else turn on him and kind of get to a point of like, why are you such a dick, dude? Just... You know, it's fine. Um, the the uh, the Feld guy, building guy who came with his son. Um, yeah. He never lies to you at any point. He just Ever. doesn't introduce, like, that the fact that he knows you. But he already yeah. knows Kim. And then you just completely move on, not thinking about it, you know? So that was played great. Um, the... The entire uh, uh, Joyce versus Everard thing is, like, it's so clear how, like, they're both, they're, they're both these horrible uh, 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 representatives that, that, you know, like, represent, that, that, uh, of their belief structures and their systems, but Joyce is charming and pleasant to yeah. talk to. So you just automatically default to being like, I like you and I want to be on your side. <laughs> fucking... So like, you're super right. 
I fucking love Everart. Oh wow! I I love Everart so much. Wow. Okay. Like he might be like my favorite character he's because so he's the as an effective asshole. I do, I don't even know what to tell you. He's just like he's so blunt about what he actually wants and mm -hmm. what he's going to do. Mm -hmm. I appreciate that more than Joyce's like maneuvering, I guess you would call it, and obfuscation. Whereas like So this she is maneuvers, gonna sound really bizarre. She, she maneuvers Joyce will like lie to the side, right? And imply and And, and when you call her out on it, she'll be like, hey, yeah, you got me. Right. It's disco, baby. Whereas Everart will just lie to your face so bluntly that you're like, you're lying to my face, Everart. He's like, yeah, I am. I like that you caught on. <laughs> That's good, Harry. Like, oh, it's oh, Mr. I Lamar. love lying. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. It's for the union. Um, and and like the contrast of the fact that the contrast too of like right outside is easy, Leo. Who's gonna give you the most earnest conversation in the entire game? You know. Yeah. Um, well, second most. Sure, sure. Um, Egghead's gonna give you the most earnest conversation in the entire game. The 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 entire church side mission is like the <laughs> most it's like its own game. You can yeah fuck off. <laughs> that's a side mission. You know, it's it's thirty three percent of the game, and it's incredible. It's uh, it does wonders for establishing the world and everything about you know Revishal. Um, I I you know the fact that you go through uh, what has to be like probably the single best prompt in the entire game, but the dance. Oh yeah, the dance is just unstoppable. <laughs> it's it's so good. And then it one ups itself when you get Kim into it. I hope you did. Oh, I did. Yep. And then you peak when you're taking the like you're at you're at maximum cop hijinks and absurdity, and the only place to go is straight to my favorite place, which is Shivers. Yeah. And La, La Ravachelière introduces herself, you know, and you get the full like. Oh, this 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 is the best check in the entire game. Like I can't imagine missing this. You know. Mm -hmm. Um, yeah, yeah, uh, uh, unbelievable, unbelievable. And then after that, you get to do fucking weird magic space shit. It's uh, yeah, it's gonna like. I, I tried, and I'm like, I don't think you can name me a realer one than Kim K. Yeah, Kim's the best. He's the realest, and there's just nothing else to He's it. the absolute best. Power gap to, 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 to second. There's no better partner. There's no realer motherfucker that has your back, you know? I love Kim. Protect him with everything. What did you write on the wall? Uh, it's, uh, something beautiful has happened. Something I think the mi the, mir um, the miracle has not yet happened, or something like that. I, yeah. I, I can't remember. You're you're asking me a question back from March. Fair enough. Uh, what was hilarious is the idea that you could write the words "Renee lives" on that wall as the deserter is fucking watching you, you know, like <laughs> seeing that whole thing where, yeah, he, you know, you get to, you get to fucking cozy up to this, this, uh, 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 monarchist, you know, representing the old school of the authoritarian, like coming from the, 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 the ones who, who are, who want the crown and the crown is fucking baked in cocaine. Because that's yeah. the world we live in. Of course. Uh, every single character, um, I feel like, I, and, I, and I took, I had to stop and explain, like, a, you know, a couple times where I'm just like, this last 20 minutes, standing with a lady on the dock, 
just spouting out world building mm -hmm. is painting a more vivid canvas of of everything about the history of this world than if you did a flyby of a super oh, yeah. realistic 3D city and 100%. zoomed in and out on all these different places and whatever. Just one conversation with, the, like, you know, the most minimal, uh, um, um, simple graph visuals of just, like, basic 3D models and unbelievable writing, you know? Yeah, the game's, the game's incredible. It's fantastic. It's going to be talked about for years and years and years. It's the first game to beat Torment's word count. Mm. Interesting. <laughs> I didn't know that. Yeah. I Over a million words. I just, I have to reiterate that I just like, this was almost a tragedy because the first time I touched it and realized how good it was and then just there was no dialogue so it couldn't be played. It just could you, you put it on the shelf for a while for later. And and you just kind of yeah, and you, but you just look at that and you go this is fucking tragic cuz I yeah, can't say, possibly did, speak these lines, you know? I did the same thing. I I did a stream I'm like wow, this is an incredible game. It's amazing. It's unbelievable. Wow. Can't stream it. Okay. Well, I got to stream this other stuff, so I'll put this on the on the back burner for when I can play it myself and that ended up just not happening. And then they announced the, the voiced version. I was like, oh, thank goodness. Thank you so much. Oh. Yeah. And then for the voices to come in and be the absolute best, you know. Anyway, so I'm, I'm doing my, my, my new game plus. I'm, I'm going to be a belligerent, ridiculous, physical asshole. Uh, race war go up. And right. let's, yeah, good. Good. And let's see, good. If we, let's see if we can't get Kuno on the team, you know. Oh, you heard about that, huh? Yeah. 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 You, dude, like, when you punch him, he talks differently to you. Oh, yeah. And he doesn't own you anymore. And then when you're shooting the body down, if you do it that way, and yeah. Kuno S is, like, egging you on, she goes, what's the matter, Kuno? Come on, get in there. Make fun of him. And Kuno remains silent. You know, and then when he when he does chime in, he goes, "Ooh, yeah, pig, come on, show me, show me something interesting." But he's like, absolutely distant, and like he's like, "Oh, you're my dad." He's not the unhinged psychopath. No. that you knew before. He's like, "Oh, you're my dad, and I know exactly what you are, and I'm just gonna stand back over here because, because you I didn't. don't want you to beat me to death." Yeah, he understands it. You know, you're one of them. Yeah. Unbelievable. No other game has has the fucking. Uh, 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 balls to just go that hard and go that real all the time you know and nail the landing um, that's it that's all I got you really want to go balls out on your new game plus fucking throw that ledger away oh <laughs> never find out what is that what happens you know, specifically get it and throw it away Do you, you just never find out who you are yeah does that not just don't you just miss out? Uh, not the ledger, sorry, the note. You get a, oh. you get a, a replacement perk. Uh, oh, I can pull it up right now. Oh, if you choose to just don't entertain the ex-wife. Yeah. Thought cabinet here. What the go. fuck happens? That's such uh, a huge part of it. It's got a, a thought that's called like caustic echo. Oh, okay. Open the hidden compartment, throw the card away, and then think about it. It gives you plus one volition, and it's it's the feeling of throwing away something that you'll never be able to get back. Huh. Interesting. Does there is there any other content to that, or I I don't know. There's I mean everything puts everything into everything. Yeah. Right. Cause, like because it's almost like you know how it's like hey. Uh, light side or dark side, do you take the quest or kill the quest giver? And it's like, uh, no, take the quest and then betray the quest giver for the most stuff, you know? Yeah. So I'm inclined to... betray the quest giver, giver, then betray the quester, then do... Dis yeah. Disco's, like, reactivity to itself is unbelievable. 
Yeah, I, d I don't want to make choices that remove content entirely as much as I want to see the alternate results of that content. No, there's you know? very little that removes content entirely. Like, there's the failed checks that are like, get the goddamn shit out of the tree, like that. That's a fucking check that it's get content or not. Mm -hmm. But in terms of, like, dealing with people or quests, it's, it's content one way mm -hmm. or the other. Like, I failed one of the big communism checks in my quest line and got something I caught something that told me a lot about Harry. Okay. Um, I, I was arguing about communism and how we need to be down with the bourgeoisie. And then I failed the big important question. For the, I had, what is the biggest, most important communist question ever? And I failed it and got the best question I could possibly have, where Harry, without a doubt, asks legitimately are women the bourgeoisie <laughs> and the guy is like confused and tells you that you need to work things out and you go oh my harry's communism has shit to do with politics it's just, he just he just, it's just desperately this, yeah, needs to find a way to blame the wife he just needs to she's got to work in somehow yeah yeah that's amazing i i, like, I that's is that the vision it's quest amazing that that's the communist vision quest. okay yeah because i did the ultra liberal vision quest um yeah. and i hear that the moral one and the fash one are super interesting for harry's well, character moral one i know you get to learn about kim okay because kim's a moralist okay yeah, I hear that the moralism and the the fash ones are like fantastic ads to the game. Um, yeah. So yeah, that that's great. Uh, I, I mean, I, it I imagine... also plays into the 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 dream where one of the options is like, but I know all this stuff now. I'm a big communist. You right? We got stuff to talk about. She's like, I don't give a fucking fuck that you're a communist now, Harry. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That wasn't the problem. Dude, I mean, I'm walking around as an ultra liberal, and I have net worth, and it's like, look yeah. how much money I'm worth now. I can I can support every. I'm so rich, <laughs> just like and you know, yeah, yeah. Become a man of plenty. Um, yeah. Okay, favorite stat. Favorite stat of the ones that I played with. Um, I'm gonna I'm gonna pull up a goddamn list. Because mm -hmm. I'm sure there's one I'm gonna um, forget. Because uh, for me, I go ahead. After go ahead. you, then. Okay. No, after you. If you have I, I, to pick, I, I've said it. I've said it many, many times. But it's just shivers will never. Nothing. Nothing makes the payoff feel as good to me as shivers does. And it was the moment the first prompt happens when where the hood at. Right, the, mm -hmm. the the the, yeah. the where you just get like the zoom out to take in the entirety of the top of the map, you know, and it just it's like what is happening in all four directions, what is happening above the moral internships are above, and I'm like this power of feeling what is happening in the city around you, it's mm -hmm. like I said, it's the it's the Narshada moment, nothing's better than that, and it pays off so much towards the end um so i think shivers is almost cheating because uh shivers is mandatory um like it's actually mandatory is it um yeah because when i i didn't start hearing it until i buffed the stat the uh the the check at the mural uh to to find ruby yeah is mandatory okay like that you have to beat the 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 that shivers prompt okay um but you will i mean there's like a million different ways to lower that well you can roll um, low and get it get it right you can pass yeah, it with but what i mean number. is that you have to interact with shivers in a big way to continue not that you have to level it up um i'm torn i didn't get to spend a lot of time with half light but every time i did it scared me interesting ha half light is crazy it's kuno it's it it is kuno it's literally kuno in your head um i'm torn because i, I almost want to say inland empire purely because uh the necktie is an inland empire character ha i missed the the necktie completely yeah you did. i didn't get the necktie 
You didn't? Nope. Did you get it on your next playthrough? Mm, not yet. I, I got the tie, but it hasn't started talking to me yet. When does it so when does it start talking to you? Immediately. Oh. Then no, I guess not. Should the I love it? like a, a character. It's a character. Like a big character. Oh I know. I found out after the fact. I, I uh I was watching a secret um there's a there's a secret mission where you you have to figure out like why the, the, the two children in the village can hear the radio of uh yeah. Kim's car. And um, I saw some lines from the necktie there. I know it's a whole character, but I just, I, we just, we failed it. We didn't get it. Apparently, you need to have four inland and put it on like right away. That's what people I'll, are saying. I'll try it on my new game plus. Yeah. Um. Okay, I'm not gonna talk about anything to do with necktie then, because I don't want to spoil it for you. But, but that's I your favorite. Some, I had some cool adventures with that necktie and bombs. Okay. Because the the, uh, the inland answer is like if you're leaning into the fucking Matthew McConaughey energy, right? If you yeah, want that's totally that, what it is, isn't it? If you that's want like that Matthew McConaughey that energy, true yeah, detective shit. Yep, that's what it is. You know, then I then um, that, that's that's good. And while I again I didn't hang out with him a lot, and I'm looking forward to hanging out with him on my new game. Uh, somebody in chat nailed it perfectly. Even if you don't listen to him, electrochemistry is batting a hundred at all times. <laughs> electrochemistry is the stat i missed the most when i was building my character because it didn't make sense for me to build electrochem but then avoid all drugs oh you played straight right? edge 100 percent. didn't Same. Straight, take a drink i uh, did not a sip of alcohol not a single Same. drug so i kept uh, electrochem at like two i kept i kept it super low i didn't care yeah but i miss him because every time he did talk He'd be a funny guy who wanted to party. Right, right, right. Um, he tried to kill me at one point. Yeah, I think I think uh, uh, like after after Shivers, it's definitely there's there's some great shit with um, um, EDC Esprit de Corps um, yeah. because it's Blue I Shivers. I was shocked at how much I liked Blue Shivers. Blue Shivers, dude. Like, hey. Because I had to take into account how much that it would have me identify with Kim. Yep. Yep. What is he feeling on the scene? What is his mind thinking? And sometimes what's happening somewhere else across in Jamrock? Yeah. You know? What cases oh, that, are being solved? That reminds me. And I think we can... I don't know how much you have left to say about it, but this is the only thing that I want to say, mm -hmm. which is... The stats and the voices and the build-up all crescendo into my favorite, like, pronouncement in any game that I can think of, which is detective arriving on the scene. Mm. Like, just... Like, that feeling of, like, Harry's finally doing it. He's finally got it. Like he's back almost. Yeah, yeah. Um, also, the way in on the island, like playing that fucking music, dude, and you're getting I, the reward being the light motif, where it's like, oh, you know this song. It's yeah. just the full version now. But so also, good. like, hey, how'd you know we were coming? You guys were going down <laughs> on a boat with some fucking jackass music. <laughs> What do you mean, how would I know you were coming? <laughs> Just blasting it over the fucking sad FM. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, yeah, no. Kim Kim is like, you said you like Sun Sun. So he's the, he's the ultimate. The ultimate Sun Sundere energy, you know? Oh, I love Kim. Yeah. All right. 